as supportive as they were when I came in, I think, you know, just makes it that much easier for me, and I'm just excited to, to share the floor with them, for sure. What was the trip like to uh, Kill Devil Hills with the guys? Pretty they said, uh, they had a fun with banks. What was that like? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, being able to kind of spend spend a good amount of time with them off the floor was a was a big thing because um, you know you obviously was able to see you know on the floor and um, you know through the TV screen how good of players they were but I think being able to to spend time with them and see that you know they're just as good of people as they are as they are players I think was something that was really special for me and kind of helped solidify my decision. What surprised you the most since we've been here uh, if there are any surprises? Um, I think I think it's just been the uh, you know the culture that you can tell has just you know been been instated from ever since you know Coach Smith coached here. I think um, a lot of these guys either either played under Coach Smith or, or knew him really well. Um, so I think um, you know being able to to experience this culture that that you hear about um, you know the North Carolina family and the North Carolina tradition I think being able to be here and kind of see what it's all about it's it's really been amazing and it's it's not really it's not really a mystery as to why this place has you know has the banners that it has hanging up for sure. Leakey talked about your maturities almost to the point he want to call you mister when he first met you talk about that. Um, you know that's funny because he's he's you know he's just as old as I am just as mature we're both uh, both the fifth year guys so I think um, you know I think I'm just excited to be able to kind of bring my experience and um, you know the things that I've kind of been through playing in Northwestern and, and being in the Big Ten and, and you know bringing them over here and just trying to help in any way I can. What did you want to get out of the, the NBA draft process or what, what did you take from that whole experience that would benefit you coming into this last year? Yeah I think I think um, what was huge about it I think was um, last three or four months I kind of was able to really focus on myself um, and just being able to go through that whole experience I think can can really can really boost your confidence when you're just worrying about getting better as an individual every single day um, so you know I think just going through that whole thing and I was I really thought thought I had a good chance and um, you know I think I think it was it was great for me and great for my confidence and I'm just excited to be able to you know bring that bring that over to a, another team in college for sure when you came here on to, to kind of see if you're a good fit and everything, was, was there any kind of anxiousness on your part or, or nervousness in terms of would you fit in? Or was this just a stop on of many that you were going to make and, you know, however the chips fell, that's what it would be? No, I had a, uh, you know, being able to talk to Coach Davis and, and some of the coaches on the phone, I had, a, had really great conversations with them, and I felt like, you know, I really fit in with, with um, you know what they were what they were telling me and what they were talking to me about. Um, so I think you know I really only I really only visited one place because I knew I kind of knew where I wanted to go. But kind of getting getting down here and being able to look everybody in the eye and hang out with the guys and see the guys' relationship with the players. I mean with the coaches. I think um, was you know it really solidified everything for me and I and I knew that everything it is everything that I thought it was. So I think it was kind of a no-brainer from there. How many uh, practices has the team done since you've been here? How many team summer practices? Um, I want to say four or five I think we've done so far. What has that been like? Obviously, this is your first chance to really play with them in a structured setting. What's that been like? Yeah, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. I think uh, you can just see you know, how, how talented these guys are. And, and uh, you, know, you see them on TV, but they're, they're every bit of what they are on TV and more you know, in person. Uh, so it's it's been it's been really cool to be able to share the floor with them and, and try to try to boost them up in any way I can and just try to um, you know be good complimentary pieces to, to these guys and, and to this team. Is the system similar to what you ran Northwestern or is it a big change? Um, similar and different. Um, you know, there's obviously going to be the um, some differences. There's only so many things that, mm -hmm. that everybody runs, so I think uh, it helps a lot to be able to have the experience um, as far as as far as kind of already knowing some some actions and mm -hmm. some uh, some things to do and just how to move. But uh, obviously different, and I'm playing with uh, totally different players. So I think it's kind of it's kind of been fun for me to adjust and, and learn everybody and learn everybody's game and. Just try to figure out, you know, what ways I can I can help everybody out. What's it like banging with Armando? 
What'd you say? What's it like banging with Armando? Man, he's a big boy. He's strong. Um, you know, uh, luckily it's been, um, I, I definitely had some experience um, banging with some big boys in the Big Ten, guys like Kofi Coburn and Hunter Dickinson and Trace Jackson Davis. But, um, you know, what, I, what I've seen of him is, is uh, Everything what it was what it was hyped up to be. You know, he's really strong and he's a really good player, and I'm just you know happy to be on his team for sure. Has it been 